1000 and I are going to make chicken noodle soup, but it's going to be, the noodles are going to be homemade. So we're going to get some flour. We're going to need that. We're going to use the chicken broth. And we're going to put in, we got five, what are these, fillets? We got five fillets to put in there. Um, you can use other stuff, chicken stuff if you want. I got carrots and onion. We're going to put spring onions in there and we're also going to do celery. So this is what we're going to do. This is our dinner for tonight and we're going to make the homemade noodles and we're going to use this lovely dad. And I have to be careful. And we're going to use this that he's used in his videos before. So we're going to play with this. I didn't play with it before so He's going to show me how to do it, and I'm going to try. Anyways, so that's what we're going to do today. So stay tuned, and we'll get this going. Okay, guys. This is the chicken we're going to use. Okay. Um, we're using the boneless, skinless chicken thigh fillets. Um, you can use breast. Usually that's what I use, but the breast was double the price of this. So I went ahead and got these. You can use wings, whatever. Just make sure you get all the bones and all the um, uh, skin off of it. So what we're going to do first is, hopefully that will be enough chicken because we're making a double batch here. So hopefully it will be enough chicken. So we're just going to put this in the pan right now. Right, Monk? Yep. Monkey's over there. She's filming as well, like I said. So I'm going to put these in here. Because then, once they boil down, while this is boiling, by the way, we're going, we're going to go ahead and we're going to do the noodles. But, so we're going to put that in there. Hopefully that'll be enough. Because I like a lot of chicken. Now, like I said, you can use thighs. You can use turkey. Uh, whatever kind of fowl meat you want. Um, pigeon, owl, or whatever. But, Shea bear. You can, um, you know, what, whatever you want. You can, you know, substitute. You can mix them if you want. A little bit of turkey, a little bit of chicken. Um, just whatever. Duck, goose uh, would be good. I, though I've never tried duck or goose, but I think that would be awesome. But then again, it would not be chicken noodle soup. But, so, I'm just going to just cover this with water. And I'm going to boil it down. And there's some things I'll explain to you as we go along. But I'm going to let that boil. And while that's boiling, we're going to make the noodles. So let me get some water in there and I'll get this on. Okay, guys. We have our chicken on. Now, like I said, if you're going to use like a whole chicken, you can also buy that, uh, that rotisserie chicken already cooked. You can use it. Right. But if you're going to use... Uh, like say some chicken legs and chicken wings mixed together, you just go ahead and you keep boiling it and it'll all pretty much fall off the bone. Just make sure you get all the bones out. But, so, like I said, we're going to be making a double batch, but I'll tell you, a, a single, you know, for some noodles, you're going to want, you're going to need one egg, two tablespoons of milk, a half a teaspoon of salt, and one cup of all-purpose flour. Now, I'm just doubling all this up. Okay, so we're going to combine all this. Like I said, this is two cups, but like I said, it's I'm just doubling up. So there's our flour. And we're going to put, so I will need um, one teaspoon of salt since I'm doubling. Um, like I said, you can add more or less. It's up to you. It's your creation, you know. There will be a lot of things you can substitute in this. Now we're going to do our eggs. Oops. Like I said, normally, great. Oh, I got my sous chef here. Here Andy. you go. Sous chef. <laughs> huh? Sous chef. Sous chef? Mm -hmm. All right. I got my sous chef here. All right. Um, normally it would be one egg, of course. But like I said, there's that. Um, so we've got our salt, flour, we need um, 
two tablespoons of milk, but like I said, since we are doubling up, I'm going to be using four tablespoons of milk. Just a couple times you won't need to, because I keep forgetting myself, because I don't make a lot, but I just brought it up here on my phone. So, okay, so there's that. Now we're going to combine all these ingredients together. Um, now we're prepared, my bad. They say always use a wooden spoon when you're mixing flour and stuff, so. Mm hmm I've heard that before. Yeah. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to get all this mixed up. Yay! And we'll, once it gets formed together, we'll, we'll make a dough ball. <coughs> Excuse me. Should have had your camera on your head, Mom. Yeah, I could have tried it. Yeah. Uh -huh. And if you saw my last video, Monkey got another Christmas present, January the 9th, that I ordered November 24th, I think it was. Wow. So almost six weeks. That's something. And remember, if you need to add a little bit of this or that, you can add tiny bits at a time. If it's... Okay, so we got this kind of mixed together here. Now we're going to Remember, we're not making bread, so this does not have to rise, okay? So, we're going to just mix this up. Now, I'm going to shut you off for a minute while I get this mixed up. Once I get, once I get a good dough ball ready, I'll show you what we're going to do next. You mean a snowball? Okay, once I get a snowball ready, <laughs> we're... <laughs> we're no, my monkey, she's been drinking today, so... No. I have a story about her here in a few minutes, so... Uh. Hang tight, guys. I'll be right back with you. Yep. Okay, guys. So, what are we going to do next, month? We are going to make noodles! Yay! <laughs> okay. First thing we're going to do is we're going to take some of this flour here, and we're just going to... Sprinkle some down here. Can't wait till we get the new oh. granite in here. It'll be so nice. As you can see here, we made a ball. Okay. Big can ball. All right. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to roll this out. Okay. Now, I usually put some on here, too. That's just something I've seen my grandma do. And you're going to want it to be about a quarter inch thick, which I have a roller there that will make that happen for me. Since I'm doing a double batch, I think what I'm going to do is I need to grab a knife, grab a knife here, and I'm just going to cut this in half. Okay, I'm going to put half of it over here. I'm going to take this, um, this thing by the way guys, can you see it? Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. This thing by the way, I kept wondering, you know, I thought it was a stupid design because you have to put it on the side of a table in order to use that. Well, there is a base this thing's supposed to sit on, so you can keep all your stuff in it and, which I don't have the base, but I can buy parts for these. So, I got this set to where it's going to give me uh, just about a quarter, maybe a little less than a quarter of an inch. Okay. So what I'm going to do now, is I'm going to put my little handle in here. You see okay, monkey? Mm hmm And we're just going to roll this out. Do you want me to hold it? If you want. Because you don't have the base, and that probably keeps it steady. Now, like I said, if you don't have one of these guys, it's not an issue. Just I'm putting my hand in the wrong place here. Um, just keep using your roller, your rolling pin, 
and roll that out to about a quarter of an inch and then you'll cut your noodles to whatever thickness you want okay that's cool and there's and there's our dough almost okay. like the well, old washing machines and what I like to do so I'm not messing around with that I'll cut that in half okay mm -hmm. kind of like the old washing machines that's right monkey mm -hmm. if they remember the old ringer washers yep okay, now this has <clears throat> two settings on we're going for the wide noodles there's the thin noodles okay so I'm going to show them both cameras, guys, So, because we're both filming today, huh? Mm-hmm. We like to do that sometimes. And you're showing okay. me how to use this thing. Yeah. Because I didn't get to see it. Right. Time. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take this, and we're going to put it in the wide, the wide one here. We're going to put our handle in this one, just like that. We want to start this down in here. No. Oh, hold on. <laughs> All right. Oh, and, neato, neato, neato. And in the back we have noodles. We have our noodles. We okay. have noodles. So now these noodles, I forgot to tell you, these noodles here, you don't have to wait on them to dry out. You don't? Nope. Why? The, the way you make them here, you can just throw them right in a pot. Okay, so and when do you have to use, like, lay them out and dry them out? Do you well, know? if you make it this way, you don't have to. We're going to oh. let them dry out a little bit because I don't want them sticking together. Mm -hmm. but, um, uh, but you don't have to. And the way you can tell if these noodles, these kind of noodles are done, mm -hmm. when they start floating, they're done. But we're going to let them dry out a little bit while we chop up our, our um, what do you call it? Our vegetables, so I'd like to show them this, but I can't. But anyway, so we're going to do this. Oh. It's all right. My hand's getting in the way. Yeah. You're kind of. I know. Uh, it's all right. It's all right. Because you turned it. But that's pretty cool. There you go. Well, there you go. So normally. Out. You give them to me, I'll lay them out. These noodles here, all these noodles in this pile, mm -hmm. would normally be one batch. So it's quite a lot of noodles. It is. I'll put um, them on there and I'll straighten them out for yeah. you. Okay? Uh, like I said, these do not have to dry if you make them this way. Um, but we're going to let them dry just a little bit while we make the, uh, chop up the um, uh, vegetables. So I'm going to go ahead and roll this back out again, and I'm going to go ahead and just keep, I'm going to do just like we, like you guys just saw, and then we'll move on to cutting up the vegetables, which is self-explanatory, but we'll show that too. Alright, so hang tight guys, and we'll be right back with you. You might want to, you still recording, huh? Okay, guys, now, I wasn't going to show this, but Monkey said it's part of it, so I guess I'll show, i, I just show a few seconds of it. Yeah. We'll do one carrot, and then, uh, what I've got here, I've got six decent-sized carrots. Um, again, use as, as much or as little as, as you want. It's your creation, it's your dish. And if your company does not like it, you just tell them that door works both ways. They can go out it just as easy as they came in it. Right, Mom? Mm-hmm. Okay, so I'll show you how to do one of these. All right. And again, it's just, you know, cut that off. Cut that end off. Just make sure you got, you don't need one of these things, guys. You, you can use a knife and screw. 
scrape it too if you want. Um, these things are cheap. So, now, again, how do you cut the carrots? Any way you want to cut your carrot is fine. You know, just as thick or as thin as you want. You know, um, I usually like to do smaller slices. And then what I like to do is just cut them in half. You know, you can cube them if you want. Not cube them, but cube them if you want. And I just make little squares out of them. But, you know, just whatever you want to do. Same way with the onion. You can dice it or whatever. Like these onions here that we got. I might call them screen, uh, spring onions. I grew up calling them green onions. Um, so I'm only going to, this is a big white onion that we're going to put in. Again, however much you want of it. What I'm going to do is I'm probably only going to use half of that big onion since I'm going to be using these. Okay, so you've heard of sour cream and chives. You know what the chives are, right? What? The green parts. All right. So you can dice these up and use them in different um, different recipes, and then these just you can do one at a time or whatever. Just just chop them up, whatever makes your fancy fancier, you know. Whatever's to your taste and like. Or that, yes. Mm -hmm. So you know, this is what we're going to do. Uh, again, same way with the uh, celery. You don't have to add it. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I don't. I like it either way. Just the same uh, depending on how much of it you want make sure you wash it first you don't want to use the white part but I'll show you this um, then I'll wash it up so you, you just want the green part you don't want the the best part I know this is the best part but you're not going to want to use that and then again just um, what I usually do is just chop it up just like that so you see what was mm -hmm. I in the way yep I got it okay just chop it up and again you can chop these up and then put them in a a big stringer I'll show you the stringer I've got here put it in a strainer or the bowl type I've got several here and then you can wash them all together which is probably what I'm going to do here is just uh, put all this stuff you know in here the carrots and everything run them under water and wash them up and then, then I'll show you what we're going to do after we get all these cut up. We'll move on to the next step. Right, Monk? Yep. I scooted them right over in with the junk. <laughs> um, also, you can use bay leaves, um, thyme, and all that. We're not going to put a whole bunch of seasoning in it, but we're going to use some salt, pepper, a little bit of lemon pepper. Again, to your taste. There's no right or wrong way of doing it. You know, I mean, just like that. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to get these chopped up, get the onion diced up, and we're going to get them, get it washed up. Then I'll show you what we're going to do with the vegetables after we get these diced up. Okay, now we took the chicken out. I just put it in a, another little pan over there for now because we still have to shred that up. Now this is what the chicken was boiling in. I'm going to use one of these. That's what I got right here. Mm -hmm. It's just, um, what is it, Swanson chicken broth. Now I'm just going to go ahead and, since we're doing so much. Now, if you're just making a regular batch of this, um, you can just get four cans of the chicken broth or one of these, and that'll suit you. And if you need more broth, you can always add a little bit of water with some... Um, you know, throw a boiling cube in there if you'd like, which I did throw one in here with the chicken. Because I really want that flavor. But we're going to, like I said, we're doubling up, we're going to be using two of these. So what I'm going to do now, Monkey has washed our vegetables. And I'm going to put the vegetables, just going to put them right in here. Now I'm going to boil these uh, at a light boil, not a heavy boil. We're going to bring these up to a boil. Like I said, I'm going to lightly boil them for about 5 to 10 minutes. Okay. And then, after I get that done, 
I'll show you what we're going to do next. So first, we'll just bring it to a boil. And like I said, then we'll lightly boil it for 5 to 10 minutes. You don't want them to get soggy because they're still going to have to cook more with the noodles. So stick around. we got more coming. Okay guys, these I actually had simmering just about like this is what I was talking about. Just just like a simmer. Um, you can boil them and get them done faster if you want. But I've had them going for six to seven minutes ish right there. So what we're going to do is we're going to transfer this over into this pan. So move this out of the way. Also, I forgot to mention I put three cloves of garlic in here minced garlic. You don't have to add any if you don't want, but it is good for the heart. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to dump this in there. Um, we're going to add our other soup broth. And, and if you find you need more broth, guys, like I said, you can add, uh, add more water. If you want more, more broth, add more water. Um, you may have to put a a boiling cube in it or whatever so yeah just uh you know don't don't let it run dry now what we're going to do we're going to put the noodles in and we're going to cook this for 10 minutes or until the noodles are starting to get tender usually once they start floating they're done so we'll say 10 minutes it might take less i'll let you know about that uh, once we get to that. So now, we're going to put our noodles in. And the chicken's still cooling. And while the noodles are cooking, we're going to go ahead and shred up the chicken. Or you can cut it up, cube it up, however you want to do it. Like I said, it's your, it's your recipe. Alright, so I got these here. And if my sous chef will get the other ones... Now I'm probably going to go ahead and I'm going to bring this up to a boil. Now what I'm probably going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and put um, another boiling cube in it just because we really like the chicken flavor. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get that. Um, this is what I use to gnaw the chicken boiling cubes here. Um, you can also use the uh, little granules, or you can use the regular cube, whatever, or add some more beef broth, or, or uh, chicken broth, or chicken stock, whatever you prefer. Um, really, it's, it's just kind of like making a stew. You just put a bunch of stuff together, and, you know, like I say, once the noodles are made, now you can, if you want, go buy you some rigatoni or whatever that stuff is, if you want to. But to me, there's no comparison as using, um, we still got a lot doing, mm -hmm. using uh, homemade noodles. Because technically, it's really not homemade without the homemade noodles. It's just semi homemade, you can say. Sorry, they're falling. Get that noodle. Put him in there with these buddies. Oh, there's a noodle, Mama. Mm hmm. Now I'm going to give these just a, a quick stir. That's looking nice. Alright. Now we're going to let these cook. Like I said, I'll bring them to a boil. We'll let them cook for, you know, until they start floating. You can just do that if you want. Um, that's normally what I do. When they start floating, they're done. But you don't want to overcook them either. You don't want them getting soggy. But yes, yeah, there we go. All right, let's get to that. We'll let that do its thing, and then we'll add the meat here shortly. Okay, guys, here we go. Let's let them simmer. Did one about ten minutes. Now we're going to add our chicken which I probably should have put two packs on there, but that's okay, because we've got a great chicken flavor here. We're going to stir these in. 
Now since everything's done now, I'll show you what the noodles should look like when they're done. Um, since this is done now, all you want to do, just simmer it for a couple minutes just to get your chicken nice and warm. And you're, you're all done. You're ready to go. Now I'll show you what the noodles should look like when they're done. It should look just like that. Okay. So kind of a little springy, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Very good. 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 So we're going to let the simmer for, you know, two or three minutes, depending. Um, just enough to get the chicken warm, and then we'll have monkey trying out. Yay! All right. We'll be back. It's all done. I did add a little bit more water for some more broth because it did reduce down some. So let's get a heaping helping of this for Monkey so she can try it. Ooh, look at those noodles. Mm. They look good. So there's that. Mm. Oh my. Right now, let's get you up here so. Mm. try it. Looks really good. It smells fantastic. Oh my god. <laughs> um, oh wow. <laughs> you like? Oh yeah. I'm done. It's time to eat. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Very good. The flavor's really good. Mm. Yep. They like it. That's good. Oh yeah. You're going right. to have to make this more often. Of course. Definitely. And, and again, guys, you can make the noodles ahead of time, throw them in a bag, you can freeze them. It'll stay good for a long time. Now, this stuff, if you can help it, let that cool down, put it in the fridge overnight. Don't freeze it. Just put it in the fridge overnight, reheat it the next day. It's even three times better. Mm -hmm. um, also, if you want, you can make a bunch of this up and freeze it, and then all you have to do is... You know, right. heat it up later at a yep. later date. So, yeah. yeah. And eat it. You can um, make I did, like I said, I did put some um, garlic and uh, lemon pepper and regular crushed black pepper. Mm -hmm. um, that's pretty much all the seasoning I, I put in it, but you guys can put whatever you want in it. Uh, some people put peas in it. Now, if you're making your homemade noodles and you make the real tiny thin ones, you can make it oriental style and put some peas and corn in it uh -huh. too as as well. And then you got like an oriental uh, style soup. Right. Now the noodles, you know, you might have to, uh, they make theirs maybe a little different. But either way, you know, it's it's your recipe now. Take it around with it. If you make it, let me do it down below how well it turned out for you. Because uh, apparently this turned out pretty good. I'm going to try yep. it. We're going to get mom some. And mm -hmm. uh, we want to thank each and every one of you for watching. Appreciate it. Yep. Yep. It's really good, babe. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Yep. So that being said, I'm going to say Shea Bear the Myth Man Legend. I'm gone for now. And Mikey says she's out for both of you. <laughs> yeah. Bye-bye, guys. And <laughs> take care. Yeah.